Hi all and welcome back to my channel. That's me again, your great, lovely NSC in the place to be. <laughs> yeah, today it's Sunday and I have just take my time to show you a great thing. So like you can see, I'm here on my PlayStation 4. No, 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 wait, this is not just a PlayStation 4. This is a PlayStation 4 NSC edition. <laughs> yeah, this PlayStation is really great and the peoples that are following my channel a long time ago, they know what I have done here already. So here, this PlayStation 4 is, we can say, already modified. That means I have done here also a great case modding. That means that this case has already some holes for the better airflow and it has also some great yeah, LED lights and it has of course also a temperature sensor which I have just made that I can control the temperatures. And that's why I have just take my time to show you today the temperatures on, we can say, the newest Star Wars. Yeah, here we go. And the other thing is also, you now can compare the temperatures with your PlayStation 4. But you need to calculate about 5 till 6 degrees more if your PlayStation has not some holes like this or if you have never, we can say, change your thermal paste. So if you have not changed your thermal paste on the APU and if you have as not done some great holes on the case near the fan for better airflow, you will need to calculate about 5 till 8 degrees more. I don't know, but it's so we can say, yeah, the thing that you need to be sure because you don't need to compare it exactly like the same temperatures that it will show here. Because this PlayStation, like I told, has already a lot of modifications. So please be sure that you don't, we can say, mess around with my temperatures because my temperatures will maybe be cooler as your PlayStation 4. But today I just want to show you the temperatures uh, that could be nearly the same with your PlayStation 4 while you will play the newer Star Wars. Okay. The other thing is also I got here also a fan adjuster which I have also modified and I don't know if you will be able to see that, but I'm, I'm going to try it. I got here on the side, I got here, we can say a PlayStation 4 logo. <laughs> yeah, this is a PlayStation 4 button. We can say from some older PlayStation 3 Fat Editions. And I can here just, we can say, um, set the, uh, we can say, fan speed. So here I can turn to the right and to the left. And this, we can say, my fan speed accelerator or adjuster. And yeah, I'm going to just show you here, we can say the temperatures uh, while I will set, we can say the fan speed to the lowest. That means I will set the fan speed to the original fan speed. Yeah, like it would be uh, like your PlayStation without a fan speed accelerator. Okay, guys, so that's why I will show you now this great video that you can compare your temperatures with your PlayStation 4 when you will play the newest Star Wars. So, for now, we're going to start. And then, I'm going to now show you with the time all the rest that you need to show uh, to know. And you can see now, temperature display. Yeah. I just started the PlayStation right now. It starts with, we can say, 26 degrees. Okay, here. Yes, just starting. And then, we will let just we can say the PlayStation for a while, we'll just let it on and just, yeah, we will see the temperatures, how this will get higher with the time. And then we're going to start the newer Star Wars that I have already installed. And then we're going to check the temperatures. I think this is a great video. Um, I will pause, then I'm going to just put, we can say, my smartphone on the tripod. And then I will be able to record this all better for you guys. And like I told, I'm gonna now, wait, just set the fan speed to the lowest. So here, I don't know if you were able to see that. Wait, I'm gonna now set the fan speed higher that you can hear that. Okay, now you can hear that. But, I'm going to really turn it off, we can say. I'm going to turn it to the lowest, that means this is just like it would be your PlayStation. Um, yeah, on the stock edition, on original firmware, <laughs> without fan speed accelerator, okay? That's great, guys, and that's why we're going to test how the temperatures 
uh, yeah, will get higher and uh, what you can do uh, for your PlayStation 4 to run cooler. And the, yeah, you can see the rest, you can find it already on my YouTube channel. I just want to show you this, guys, that you can really compare the temperatures with your PlayStation 4. This is a very, yeah, interesting video. And um, before I forget, um, I have also some tips for you that you never, ever can, yeah, have a yellow light of that or a blue light of that or what color ever of that. <laughs> but it's just some great infos for you, okay? Um, the first thing that you shall do when you start your PlayStation, start it and let it on for about five minutes. It's very important that the PlayStation gets slowly uh, warm or slowly hot, and then you can start a game. And when you have, we can say, finished the game, then just let your PlayStation all, yeah, just let it on for about 10 minutes or so, and, and just wait that the temperatures calm down or get down, and just then, you please shut it down, okay? Because some people, or a lot of people, they are just playing around and when they stop to play, they just shut off the PlayStation 4 and this is not good because the temperature will just destroy the chip with the time when it gets too fast hot and when it gets from hot too fast, we can say cold, okay? And this is not good. So the temperatures, um, yeah, uh, we can say the higher temperatures and the shocking uh, cold temperatures up and down, up and down, up and down, <laughs> this will destroy, we can say, the APU, the CPU, or the GPU, okay, so that's why it's always, it's like a car, you know, so when you get in your car, you just drive it slowly and smoothly, <laughs> and when the car gets a little bit warm, then you can give really gas, and then you can, yeah, really be faster, okay, but yeah, it's also the same when you just have park your car, you, you better just let it on for about one minute or two and so the, the motor can just calm down and yeah it, it's really great that you guys yeah need to you, you just need to know that i just give you now here some tips for you guys that you know how you will never be able to get yellow light of that or blue light of that because this happens mostly to all the playstations or the xbox that are running hot guys okay that's why this playstation here has never had a yellow light of that because i have made this a long time ago the first thing when i have bought this long time ago the first thing that i have made <laughs> i have made this holes and the fan adjuster yeah and uh, if you have a custom firmware of course you will not need the fan accelerator you can just set it all with we can say the tool webman modificate yeah, this is really great on this playstation here this playstation is still on an original firmware and i just want that also like that because when i'm here on the original firmware i can be really safe also online and that's why i have done here my own fan adjuster and here you can see already we have reached 45 degrees but for now i'm gonna now just we can say shut down my lights because um it's better when I will record without lights, when I yeah, will also look to the TV. Uh, the game, it can be that this game will be in German. I will try to set the ling language in English. But um, if not, it's okay. This is just for a test that you can compare the temperatures. So now my PlayStation is, we can say, on uh, 46 degrees nearly. That means you need to calculate on your PlayStation about 6 degrees more if you have not done some great um, yeah, holes near the fan for better airflow and maybe you have also not changed your old thermal paste. Okay, So that's why you will need always to calculate about 6 degrees or 7 degrees more. Don't forget this bit, please guys. Okay, Alright, so I'm gonna now just shut down the lights and I will keep recording Yeah, right now. Just a second guys. Alright guys, now I have just... yeah. Plug off the lights or shut down the lights. Just, yeah, you can see it right now here. We are here nearly on 48 degrees. And the PlayStation 4 is, we can say, on standby. Wait, I need to adjust my my tripod. And then, so we're going to activate again the, we can say, monitor. Because it just goes to standby. And then, um, let's check the temperatures and keep that watching here so and let me see if i can zoom more so sorry guys here you can see it already 47.8 so that means nearly 48 degrees so now i go just 
uh, see and search where I can set the language. And then um, I hope that the game will also be in English. So let me just see that. And in the time you can check the temperatures. And like I told guys, don't forget, you need to calculate on your PlayStation 4 about yeah, 5 till 6 or 7, 8 degrees more. So here language, I got it. Let's go for English. All right, so please wait. Now it's all in English. All right, guys, so here 48.3 degrees. We can wait also a bit more if you like. Otherwise, I would say I'm gonna start now the newest Star Wars and we're gonna just wait and see what the temperatures will do. So here you can see it again. So I need to zoom back a bit. Here we go. I think I'm gonna now just start the game that I have also, we can say, my Sunday, the rest of the day for myself and for my kiddies and for my children and for my family. <laughs> All right, let's just start it. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, so the language will be now translated or yeah, copying the missing English text files or whatever. Let's check the temperatures. Ah, we are now still on, yeah, we go now nearly 50 degrees. So wait, 48.9, that means nearly. Um, yeah, we got now 49 degrees. So I'm gonna zoom back now a bit. Yeah, this will be a very complicated video for me maybe because I will need to switch always the camera. But I think we're gonna do that. So, two seconds left. This will be a great interesting video for you guys because then you can compare, we can say, your temperatures. The fan speed is now on my PlayStation like it would be on your PlayStation. But if you have not done some great holds for, we can say, a better airflow, then you really need to calculate about 6 or 7 degrees more temperatures as on mine. The game is started. We are now on 50 degrees. 50.2, 50.3. .50 I love this temperature display. 50.6 I love it because this display is really really wonderful and it's exactly that's what I love on this temperature display so yeah sometimes it's not that sharp because it's very dark right now but it's okay we can see the most important thing so Da, 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 da. <laughs> this game is great guys yeah but I still love also Star Wars Battlefront and Star Wars Battlefront 2 where you can also be able to play online it's really great it makes fun so 52.7 game is still loading guys nearly 53 degrees the video now is recording about 40 minutes. Yeah, this is a great test. I love to test these things. And yeah, so. So blah, 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 blah. I agree. Yes. Okay. So I need to scroll down and agree that stuff. All right. Adjust the brightness. We are now here on 56 degrees nearly. So let's go back to the game and I need to zoom back. Here we go. Yes. Ah, oh, yes. Subtitles yeah, can be off. Fifty eight dot four. Start new options. I have also a PlayStation 4 Pro 
but um, yeah, in Photor, I will also, we can say, install a Tempo Tour display because I just love it. <laughs> and then you will also compare the PlayStation 4 between, or we can say, compare it to the PlayStation 4 Pro. So, here we go, start new. La 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 la, yes, it's okay. Just done that all. I'm not a master yet, or grandmaster, but maybe in the future. Sadly, this game is not, yeah, with multiplayer, but I don't care. It's a good story and a good graphics. It's one of the newest graphics and it's a great game. It makes fun. My kiddies loves it to watch it also. <laughs> 61.8 so it's now loading like you can see and let's check the temperatures quickly let me just zoom in 62.763 yeah i have set on 65 that it will give me a warning because i don't like that the things runs hotter than 65 till 70, 70 degrees is the maximum. Sixty six dot two. Listen, I don't want to upset your rhythm count, but the boss wants to work. So be good for us. Here he is, Chief. 68.5 An error has been detected on line 10A. Polar clamps are jammed. I need two workers to climb up and secure the cables. That's not an easy maneuver. The gap will double your pay for this shift. What count? What's your score? I couldn't hurt. Huh? Really great graphics, guys. You're gonna love it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Get to work. This way. I'm right behind you. So let me check this, just moving around here, checking the graphics and checking the temperatures. I'm here already on 67.1, it has passed 65. So it's moving around 66 and 67 degrees right now. And I have not really started to play. <laughs> we are not just in the game and I have not moved that much, just that you can see the temperatures. So I will now just move the camera a little bit. Let's see if the temperatures will go higher. I'm now just moving the camera around. It's not happening that much. I'm gonna zoom back. So let's play a little bit. Let me check what's going out here. It looks really great guys. It's nearly as good as a computer. So let me just check this out here, the buttons. All right. 
can't be more than a few years old. Yeah, age is worse than you did, though. Ah. Guess you can't stop progress. Can I go also down? I don't know. Let's see what's going on here. Sixty-seven dot two. just want to check always all what I can see and all what I can check. Sometimes it's better you look around really closely, otherwise you're gonna miss something. And I'm new to this game guys, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I just need to play like that. So now Let's go down here. <laughs> so 67.5. I think that means when you have, we can say, a PlayStation 4 without a fan adjuster, but with some great, yeah, drill it holes on your PlayStation 4 case near the fan for better airflow, you will, we can say, have some temperatures like 66 till 68 degrees. It's not bad. immediately. You are not approved trash. You mean trash? She's not approved trash. I'm really amazed about the graphics here on the PlayStation 4. It's nearly really so good as a computer guys. And not to forget I told you also that I got the PlayStation 4 Pro and we're gonna do this video once again when I have installed a PlayStation, we can say a temperature display on my PlayStation 4 Pro. Yeah guys, um, I'm playing around here. Still 67.5. Wait. It's jumping around here between 67 and 68. This is the temperatures that you can calculate now on your PlayStation. If you have no, we can say, drill it holes on your case for better airflow, you can now say you will be, yeah, of course, let's say on about 74 degrees right now. Maybe 73 or 72, I don't know. But this is the temperatures that you need to know 
if you have a standard PlayStation 4 without drillet holes and without a fan adjuster or we can say new thermal paste, you can really calculate about 74 degrees, guys. I'm no kidding, really not kidding, guys. So let's zoom back again. And let's see if the temperatures will go higher or not. But then you know how your temperatures will be. No. Or maybe yes. No. Test again a little bit faster. No. Really? Come on. Oh, it's not. I don't know. Yeah. Great. Easy there. Just passing through. Careful, it's You look on the I told you to replace Where? Here? Whoa, I'm dead! <laughs> Great! Here! <laughs> Sorry guys, it's Sunday and uh, yeah, I need a coffee. <laughs> Hurry up, we're close to finishing ahead of schedule. I can just about taste the credits. I love this graphics. Let's get this job done. Seven dot five. Good to see you. You too. Don't get yourself killed. That's the idea. <laughs> I have already killed myself. Sounds like scrap rats. Creepy. Just passing through, guys. No need to come out and say hi this time. you get here <laughs> yeah <laughs> whoa 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 hold on here we go so guys wish me luck
What do you think? Hmm. See what's there on the right side. Nothing. 67.8 degrees still. So I think this is a good place now to stop the graphics here are still great guys but this is good to test now we are here now on 67.4 as you can see right now yeah guys now I just, I'm gonna, we can say, mute the sounds. And now you can be able to hear the fan. Yeah, it's not really that loud, because like I told, I have just turned the fan to the lowest. I have not just took it out from my tree pot, and then I'm gonna now just set, we can say, the fan speed a little bit higher that you can see the difference between Azo, we can say, with a fan adjuster and without. So here I'm gonna now just turn it a little bit faster. Uh, wait. So now you can hear it and let's just wait a bit. And it's already getting down guys and that's why I love this PlayStation 4 <laughs> yeah, now it's already under 65 but don't forget guys I got here really some big we can say holes for more airflow you can see that all in my other videos. Just need to search on my YouTube channel. You're gonna find this PlayStation 4 um, video where I have just done this great holes. Still in the game, guys. And yeah, you can yeah set it as a little bit higher if you like. If the sounds are not disturbing you. And um, the fan speed, for me, it's okay. It's not that loud. And this is compared to, we can say, a graphics card from your computer. But you can see the difference now. It's getting really great down. And if you wait now about two minutes, it will get, I bet, under 60 degrees. And this is, yeah, what you need to know, guys. Okay. And if you stop a game, you just, yeah, we can say close the game and then you just stay on the menu for about five minutes and then you just shut down your PlayStation. This is the best you can do for your console. See, it's, it's great. Okay, it's getting down and down and that's why I love a fan speed adjuster. Included, we can say, some great holds for better airflow. It's the best thing you can do to your PlayStation 4, guys. So my dog there. <laughs> I can hear my dog. <laughs> yeah, I got a big dog. So, it's great. Temperatures, I love it, guys. And that's how I play all the days. So when I start the game, I just turn, I just turn the fan speed a little bit higher. And then I'm on the safe side. I just don't like temperatures over 50, uh, over 75 degrees. All over 70 degrees is, we can say, a little bit danger. 
but here no it's okay and the fan speed it's not that loud yeah it sounds like you would have a CD inside so when your Blu-ray drive is turning it's also louder as your standard fan speed and that's why I set my fan speed always a little bit higher and then it's great so and now we're gonna know just we can say yeah we can also turn the fan speed again down that you guys can see how fast this will get higher again so here now it's all the way down and now you can see that is yeah this is already getting higher and higher guys see I'm gonna not just let it like that because let's say you have a PlayStation without fan speed adjuster you can see now how your temperature is and you can see that it gets higher and higher and higher <laughs> it will not stop <laughs> till 68 again or yeah 67 68 degrees and you need like I told calculate or to calculate 5 till 8 degrees more temperatures on your PlayStation if you have no holes on your case okay but now um, yeah I just don't like when this temperature is getting higher and higher and that's why I'm gonna now just close the game that you can see um, how you should we can say shut down your PlayStation if you love your PlayStation 4 you know just close the game here we go and then you stay here now for about five minutes and just then you just shut it down okay because you need to wait till the PlayStation yeah calms down till the PlayStation gets cooler again and we can say in about five or ten minutes the PlayStation has reached again the temperatures that is better and we can say good for the PlayStation also for the for the chips and for the processor for the APU and CPU and GPU and all the rest you can see now with the time this gets we can say yeah cooler and cooler and that's how you should care on your PlayStation 4 guys or on your computer or PlayStation 3 whatever Xbox one Xbox one slim or Xbox one X <laughs> the Xbox one X is the biggest shit ever guys really um, I have so now too many videos um, where the Xbox one X the Scorpio edition yeah it's just running always too hot and a lot Xbox one X editions are really dying <laughs> but this is also the next video for you guys and um, now you can see how you should take care on your PlayStations or on your Xbox this is always the same for all consoles always the same just let it calm down and just after about five or ten minutes you just shut it down okay guys this is the best you can do for your PlayStation okay so you can see it gets really great down with the time of course you need to wait otherwise you have a we can say uh, a PlayStation 4 like I have with a fan adjuster then you can of course set the fan a little bit higher and then this will get cooler uh, we can say a little bit faster but otherwise you just wait about five or ten minutes and then you can shut it down okay guys so I hope you like this video this was all for me NSC in the place to be with again a great informative video which is now already yeah 40 minutes long <laughs> but yeah I had to play that long time that you can see we can say the temperature is now on my PlayStation and you guys please don't forget that you need to calculate about like I told six till eight degrees more on your PlayStation if you have not drilled some holes for better airflow and if you have not changed the standard bad cheap thermal paste <laughs> yeah okay guys that's all from me and see in the place to be see ya soon and stay tuned to my channel thumbs up if you like subscribe don't forget and like I told peace guys wish you the best take care if you have some questions just feel free to yeah leave me a comment and yeah, otherwise, I wish you really a great, really great time. Bye-bye.